Father, we totally depend on you. Give us the word that hereby becomes our life. For there is no life outside of your word. Open us to truth. Let light conquer darkness. Let light conquer every darkness. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please be seated. Businesses are working. Churches are working. Schools are working. Government sectors and bodies are working. The only thing that is not working is the union of just two people. Just two. Just two. Companies with thousand employees are working perfectly by just two people's company it's becoming a problem in our day and we must confront it we won't leave it we will confront it every day till a group of people get it right and you are going to get it right I said you are going to get it right there is the miracle and supernatural dimension and there is the wisdom dimension and that is what I really we come here Tuesdays to do. Our Father will handle the supernatural dimension. But Love Clinic will handle the wisdom dimension. Are, are you getting blessed by the day? Yes, it's the combination of the two that makes these things work. The Bible says that God formed the earth by his power, but formed the world by wisdom. There are two dimensions. Power brought the earth. But it is wisdom that brought the order and made the earth inhabitable. Yes, otherwise the Bible says that the earth was without form and void. And power brought it. It is by wisdom this house is built that we are comfortably in it. So power can let things happen. But it is wisdom that makes things useful. If you don't get this tool, um, your life will be very miserable. You know, power can give you marriage. It's wisdom that will make marriage beneficial to you and make it a blessing to your life. So you need, we started treating the 10 mistakes that we commit. The 10 mistakes. And the first one I'm talking about is um, everybody that intends to marry or intends to be in a relationship must know that there are effective laws at work that governs marriages effective laws of every nation that governs marriages effective laws effective laws um, let me uh, break it down to Africa and then Africa let's deal with this uh, Saharan region of West Africa I can point my finger on my chest and tell you that the whole of the West African region the country that laws work is Ghana and if you are living in this country you must be extremely careful dealing with another human being because laws if you have not fallen into the cold hands of the law, you may think that you are living in a very liberal country. Never make that mistake. And this aspect of marriage and relationship is not taught. So many of us keep making mistakes until we find ourselves at the courtroom and we can defend ourselves. For errors we committed blatantly that we didn't understand what we were getting ourselves into and there are certain things when you get yourself into even God himself will not defend you I study my Bible small and I realize 
how powerful human laws are and how God has raised and placed so much value on human laws to a point that he commands his people to subject themselves to human laws and then claims that all those powers are of him so you read Romans chapter 13 he will tell you that subject to the powers they be because they are all of God and no authority came on itself they are all ordained of the Lord Jesus speaks in Matthew chapter 5 verse 25 and says that be at peace with your adversary quickly whilst he's on the way to the court don't let him go to the court he said be at peace with him whilst he's on the way when he gets to court he said the judge will deliver you to the officer the officer will deliver you to prison and you will shout where is my god and your god will tell you that when the law comes against you beg am i talking to somebody here when you make a mistake with your partner and court case and police case comes in it's better you kneel down we will enter some places small. Then you begin to understand this, this, this part of Africa you find yourself in. By the grace of God, some things come before me and I know what I can tell you that everybody in Ghana is economical with their risk management. Every, from the president to the last person you can talk about. Don't take risk anyhow. There are nations that presidents and political officials take risk anyhow because the law is not that powerful to arrest them. And they can buy their way through, push their way through and they'll be fine. But there is this country called Ghana that even if somebody in high authority promises you, I will defend you, it's only to a limit. When the case gets to a point, you may even call the president, he won't pick you because everybody is protective of his image from the president to the last person laws to protect reputation and image it doesn't matter how we insult them out there if you get close to them that is where you realize that they are not ready to soil their garment so if you are making certain wrong moves do you know that even the laws of god let me tell you the laws of god do you know that he forgave you by mercy but he still allowed his justice system to work. He still punished his son for you. Because there are two things that works on this earth. Mercy. Mercy brings forgiveness, but, but does not take away judgment. It's very important. When God wanted to forgive you and free you from judgment, he took the punishment. So your sin was not forgiven for free. It was forgiven, but it was not for free. Your father can be the president of the nation and you go to commit murder. Your father can forgive you, yet the law will take you to prison. But in his heart, he personally has forgiven you. It's just that the law must take his course. Are you getting the point? So if you are in prison, don't say my father has not forgiven me. He can feed you in the prison, but you must be punished for the error. That is what we don't understand. So Jesus will tell you that if anybody is going to place you under the law for something you did, go and apologize. Don't watch the person to go and say my God will deliver me. At that day, before the church, you will call on the Lord the Lord <laughs> I am telling you something extremely powerful that many of us don't regard the aspect of law in making choices and in making the decision to marry one of the things that must never leave your heart is that the person you are married to 
is covered and insured by a law it is not just a divine law that is why even God permits that after you word in church and God it becomes a law before the Lord and God's law begins to govern your marriage God permits that you go and do a governmental one and you sign at the court so that the nation too can govern the person you are married to by their laws and cover the person and ensure the person and last time I told you here when we went to Isawen prison that the boss there said that most of the cases most the highest cases in Insawem right now has to do with marriage and relationship. And most of the people don't know the laws that governs marriage and relationship. That as you are there right now, you can keep, you can just stand up and tell and tell your partner that you you will see what I'll do to you. I will eliminate you. You spoke out of bitterness. But if he gets that on record, let me tell you: no matter how angry you are, never test your partner. In days of anger if anything you test out of anger if he's he or she screenshot it and keep it you tell the person that you will see what I will do to you if the person used blade to cut his, his his own cheek or his own body and carry the test message together with that thing to the police that same moment you will be arrested and that test message becomes the evidence that you threatened that you harm him. Your first rule is that when you want to say I love you, send message. If you want to say you are beautiful, send message. But if there is serious banter, don't send messages. Don't. Listen, before I tell you not to fight, this is the... <laughs> <laughs> this is the safety measure right now no matter how you are boiling to show somebody that you cannot be cheated no matter how you are boiling to show somebody that you will revenge never send it as a test message never send it as an audio message evidences are powerful in the place of God and let me tell you, court right now is too busy now. And most of them has to do with marriage, relationship, human relationship issues. And many of us are just living life anyhow. We think that the court system does not work. I'm telling you, one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful sector in this country is the judiciary sector extremely powerful system in Ghana. It may not be powerful in other nations in Africa but when you come to Ghana there is a level of power invested into a judge that a judge can sit and determine 10 years of your life and nothing can be done about it because power has been given to them. So if you want to save your life, don't push yourself in the way that they'll present you to a church. And young men, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. Almost most of the judges that deals with marriage issues are women. I rest my case. Why? Because the nation accepts that women are weaker vessels. Even Bible says it. So those who are to enforce the law when a woman and a man is engaged in anything, we make sure that we give it to a weaker vessel who can have compassion for the weaker vessel in that matter. <laughs> so you see, when you are born a man, you stand disadvantaged from beginning to end. As it stands now, do you know that even universities are charged to, ad uh, to admit more women? Yes. Everything, jobs, 
campaigns everything one of the one of the campaign messages of certain political parties is to involve women so men you stand disadvantage in everything so when we are talking about these things a woman can choose to be on a facebook or whatsapp now but a man open your ears and listen because the law is not for you the law is not for you so make sure you don't fall into the hands of the law you can give 10 evidences if a woman gives one it may go for the woman so the powerful weapon of a man in days of relationship and conflicts must be silence silence make sure that you are free from evidences <laughs> and you see every woman you see is a documentary in itself they are recording machines they can tell you what happened five years ago the time how you approach so they walking about is evidence <laughs> so if they are if you allow them to get messages and audios that one you are finished doesn't slip from your heart the power of the law that governs marriage do you know that if anybody signs your wedding certificate and the person has not been gazetted the wedding is null and void the day it goes to court the one that signed it plays the major role if the one that officiated and signed has not been gazetted you are not married the place you did it if the place is not gazetted you are not married <sighs> so the gazetting must be the one who signed it the one who officiated it and the place that it has been done hey, all these things mattered there are laws do you know that if you don't tell somebody the truth and you marry the person and then the person finds later in the marriage and takes you to court the law is against you that you falsely and deceptively marry some person number one there will be divorce number two everything you have will be taken and given to the other person if you had a child you didn't tell the person you had a child and then later in the marriage the person finds out that you have a child if he takes you to court you are finished some men must say what can you do recording and there are some of you if you are talking by mistake you you will talk and say which court what can court do it's like take me to court and then the person records it and play it before the church listen if it's prison case start counting your case from 10 years <laughs> listen in in all your madness eh, let me tell you in all your madness don't speak against presidency don't speak against courts don't speak against poli police don't speak against military don't speak against parliament in all your foolishness in 
no matter how mad you are, these groups don't. Yet you will be a mob. You see, now Facebook is free. So if anybody feels funky, he goes to sit down and mention the president's name and begin to insult. Listen, your anything you want to do to the president, keep it silent and do it on voting day. <laughs> keep it silent and do it on voting day. I'm telling you, all of you that feels funky and you pick a camera before you, listen, you are my, most of you are my sons and daughters. And, and as a pastor, every problem people go and bring, they have parents, they have siblings, they have that, but you are the one it comes to. And I'm not telling you because, listen to me, I'm not, I'm not telling you these things because I'm a coward. I'm telling you the reality on the ground. You are of heaven, but in Ghana. And if you don't understand the system, that's why I told you what Jesus himself has said concerning the law. Apostle Paul told Timothy, he said that pray for the authorities so that you will live a peaceable life. That means no matter how anointed you are, an authority of a nation can distract your peace. You have to, you see, when you find people outside this country doing life and insulting the president, insulting everybody in the nation, listen to me, don't follow such a person if you are in the nation. <laughs> if you are inside the nation, don't follow the person. Have you realized that that person will never insult the president of the nation he is in? He will never. Because it's a law. You don't touch the president. No matter how angry you are, don't be fooled. You don't. You don't. If such a person does that one life, one and attacks the president of the nation he finds himself in he will not he will not see broad daylight by 24 hours try it with the american president try it with the queen who is dead now inside england try it make a mistake and try that dead woman Try that. That's why you know law works. And you see, sometimes African leadership can be very lenient. So they, they overlook certain things. But I am teaching you this because it's not every president that to overlook. Any president that shows up and decides not to overlook has the law to back him to deal with you. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Democracy is not attacking the image. It is wisely criticizing. It's not to attack images. It is to criticize policies. Today the youth leaves policy and attack personalities. And we don't know that we are dealing with laws in our time. Yet, you are still contending. I need all of us to be very, very smart in our dealings every single morning till night. Be smart. Anybody you are engaged in relationship with has a law covering that person. What was them punching? and It looks like they don't have an owner. But if you temper with one, 
by, by 8 p.m. You, see, you hear a knock on your door. There has been a goat walking around. And evidences show that the, the, the goat mistakenly passed through your house. <laughs> so we came to check. Everything that has life has a law covering them. It's either a supernatural law or a natural law. Yeah. In America, you can be in prison for how you treat your pets. The law goes as far as animals, covering animals. So it becomes dangerous when we have a people in a nation who care less about the law. You can outsmart human beings, but you can never outsmart the law placed on them. When that law grabs you, you are finished. All these women who can sit down and, and send a guy a message, you are poison you. That word, I will poison you. All he needs to do is to go to the roadside, get some garbage he knows will give him stomach ache. So he knows who give him so much. Let him go to the hospital for a proof that it was food poisoning. I'm telling you. For a proof that it was food poisoning. And let him stay in the hospital three days. And let the doctor just write that he ate a food that is suspected to be poisoned. Let me tell you. No matter who you are. No matter your father in this land. You will go to him somewhere. Are you getting blessed today? So the way you get angry and you begin to talk in the house, every word that comes from you is not going to a person. It's going to a person and the law around the person. Deception can put you into the hands of the law. Deception. Threats. Threats. Abuse. Today, if if your partner can prove that you have slapped her, police can grab you. All there is is a proof. There are laws that governs relationship and marriages. Don't, don't be deceiving people in the heart. Don't. There are laws. Do you know the number of years after that they started coming after Kel uh, uh, Kelly? Do you know the number of years? When he slept with the girl, the girl left it. And when the girl grew up later and realized that he, she can go after him for money, you have no idea what, what the law is doing right now. The man in a day was rendered useless. All his legacy on earth, everything, because he dated an under 18 girl. Everything went down. His videos everything in youtube that was giving him money was pulled down everything that must give him money was pulled down because of one accusation because of one marriage and relationship is not a joke young man don't use body size to assume age find out age Are you getting there? Yeah. There are 16 years that looks like 28. Yes. And there are 35 that looks like 14. Don't use body to assume. No matter how you feel like having sex with somebody, don't have the sex before you find out certain things. Do you know the painful thing? 
at that point the girl even lied to him that she was 18 the girl lied yet the law has dealt with it because the law expects you to be diligent 